Hello YouTube, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. Today I'm going to show you quickly how to add servers to your server manager. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up the server manager. Now as you can see I'm administering it from my Windows 8 desktop. You guys can administer it directly on the server, but in this case I'm not. I've installed RSAT, a remote server administration tool pack. I'm going to show you exactly how to do this. It's pretty stupid simple, in my opinion, but you know, not everybody would agree. Server manager opens. We're going to go add other servers to manage. Okay. Now we're going to pick locations. We're going to search the Graham domain. Operate system all name. This is the CN or container name. We're not going to specify anything. We're going to go find now. We see our 8.1 box shows up and our server 2012 computer shows up because they're both on the domain. We're going to click this. We're going to click this over button. It's going to throw it into here. We're going to click OK. And we're going to go all servers. There you have it. We've added another server. What you're also going to notice is after you add this, this role in here, all the other functions are going to roll up, like Active Directory, DNS, Hyper-V, all of it we can manage from here. And that is how you add a server. Have a great day.